Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the iOS 17 public beta 2. My name is Jay, you are watching Tech Hype. Let's get right into today's video without wasting any more time. So, first of all, let's talk about the name itself because I am really confused that what Apple is going to call it. Some people are saying that it, they will call it the beta 4, but there is a possibility that they will call it the beta 2. The possibilities of it being called beta 4 is the history if history is an indication it may call the beta 4 but at the same time we never know apple may call it the beta 2 because it is the second public beta the name is something that we are really unsure about anyways let's talk about the update and what all new things it is going to bring to our devices will it be any different from the beta 4 that we already have my name is jay you are watching tech hype if you are new here it would be amazing if you guys can hit that subscribe button because i keep on making these type of videos for you guys and you guys seem to love it so please hit that subscribe button if you are new here now that you have hit that subscribe button let's dive right into this video number one thing that i am going to talk about is my experience with the developer beta 4 of ios 17. my experience has been pretty much all right with the beta 4 there are still things like overheating on my device it is still present and the wallpaper bug is also present the wallpaper glitch if some people are unaware about the wallpaper glitch is where your wallpaper will be glitched and you have to just restart your device or apply the wallpaper again and again this wallpaper bug is really irritating and there is no permanent fix for this we are waiting for the wallpaper bug fix for a long time since the beta 1 the beta 4 has also not fixed the wallpaper bug for us talking about the performance the performance day-to-day -day task and using my device to play some games like pubg and uh, doing some casual gaming eight ball pool and smash hit some of these casual to intensive games have been working pretty good there is definitely noticeably more overheating compared to ios 16 but of course this is a beta and betas are notorious to act weird and overheat the device then talking about the system data storage the system data storage is still a problem on the ios 16 so if you are short on storage i mean the ios 17 so if you are short on storage the ios 17 beta 4 is not for you because it will just eat up a lot of your storage especially if your device is like mine 64 gigabytes you are gonna pay a lot of your storage in order to use some of the new features of ios 17. the ios 17 beta 4 is a pretty darn good update and the ios 17 public beta 2 will be out next week in my opinion because right now the time i'm recording this video it is friday and it is very unlikely that apple will release an update today then there is weekend and after that the release it's gonna be on probably from monday to wednesday which means from 31st july to 2nd of august this is the time where i expect apple to release the public beta 2 of ios 17. now there is a thing i think that apple is going to change the beta 2 of ios 17. the public beta 2 of ios 17 will be different because if it would have been same then apple have been already released it because if history is an indication we always see the public beta in 24 to 48 hours of the developer beta release and it's been a rough part of three to three and a half days that apple has released the beta 4 of ios 17 but we still do not have the public beta 2. let me know down in comments below what all new features and changes do you want apple to add in the future beta and what all problems are you facing on your device the ios 17 public beta 2 will be out really really soon it's probably going to be noticeably different from the developer beta because apple is taking some time to push out so i expect the build number is going to be a bit different as well let's hope for the best let's hope for the most reliable version of ios we can be on and use our devices as most normal as we can because right now ios 17 is having just too many bugs the battery life is also not the best if I go in battery section you can see here that the battery life that I'm getting is it's really really bad the battery life that I'm getting on the developer beta 4 is about five and a half hours which is a bit more than the beta 3 i was getting five hours 20 minutes of screen on time and it's like 10 minutes more than the beta 3 so the beta 4 is a bit better compared to the beta 3 
but that is a really minor difference that doesn't play a major role in my opinion let me know down in comments below are you having better battery on your ios 17 beta 4 on your device and what device are you running ios 17 on my name is jay thank you so much for watching this video till the end peace out and have a great day everyone